Good evening. In tonight's news, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stresses Jordan's keenness set to become a rising force on the international technology scene. The Prime Minister attends the launching of the Arab Potash Company's strategy. And South Africa accuses Israel of subjecting Palestinians to genocidal acts in Gaza at the opening of hearings at the top UN court. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein attended the launch of the Jordan Singapore Tech Alliance Forum. Speaking at the launch attended by Her Royal Highness Princess Rajwa Al Hussein, Crown Prince Al Hussein highlighted the forum's importance in unifying the two countries' efforts towards technological excellence. His Royal Highness stressed Jordan's keenness to become a rising force on the international technology scene, highlighting the importance of digital transformation and entrepreneurship in nurturing creativity and turning ideas into reality. The Crown Prince said that the similarities between tech talents in Jordan and Singapore can be a bridge that connects the two countries and enhances cooperation in service of mutual interests. His Royal Highness invited business people, experts and CEOs to visit Jordan to learn more about the ICT and entrepreneurship sector, which is full of promising Jordanian talents. Prime Minister Bashir al khassawne attended the launching of the Arab Potash Company strategy for the years 2024 to 2028 and inaugurated the company's new general administration building in Ghor Safi. Khassawne stressed the importance of the Arab Potash Company as it is a major tributary to the national economy and one of the main industry pillars of the mining and fertilizer sectors in the kingdom. The Premier said the company's achievements had a tangible positive impact in enhancing macroeconomy indicators, increasing national exports and effectively contributing to the gross domestic product. An official military source at the General Command of the Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army denied rumors circulating on social media platforms about the summoning of retired military and security service personnel who are still within their reserve service period post-retirement. The source emphasized the importance of accuracy in news reporting and advised the public not to pay attention to these rumors, stressing that the Jordanian Armed Forces is the only source for any information related to this matter. The Health Ministry in Gaza said at least 23,469 people have been killed and 59,604 wounded in the Israeli aggression on the enclave since October 7th. Earlier, the Palestinian Red Crescent said four of its staffers were killed when their ambulance was hit by an Israeli strike on the main road near Deir al-Balah. In the central Gaza Strip, two passengers in the ambulance were also wounded and later died. South Africa accused Israel of subjecting Palestinians to genocidal acts at the opening of hearings at the top UN court on a case brought against the devastating Israeli military campaign in Gaza. South Africa also accused Israel of breaching the UN Genocide Convention, saying that even, th 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 that even the October 7th Hamas attack could not justify such actions in that case. It was brought to the International Court of Justice, ICJ, also known as the World Court. South Africa demands an emergency suspension of Israel's military campaign in the Palestinian enclave. The ICJ is hearing South Africa's argument today and Israel's response to the allegations tomorrow. That was the end of the bulletin for tonight. Thank you for watching.